So, my name is Matt Sabula, and I'm here to talk to you guys about something everyone in this room loves. Something that everyone spends their days earning and their nights and weekends spending. You guessed it, I'm talking about money. See, money's kind of weird. I've spent my entire life studying money and trying to understand what this money thing is. And as the last presenter mentioned, there's very few people that actually ask themselves, what is money? And a weird thing about it is, that you're never taught this in high school. There's no civics class for money. You're taught about the political system, but you're never sat down to explain, this is the history of money. This is how it works. This is where it comes from. This is why it changes value every day. And another weird thing is that the people you would think are experts in this, economists, well, they spend barely any time looking at money at all. They have a lot of formulas, they think a lot, but they really don't talk or think about money as it is today. So I'll try to answer the question that the previous speaker asked. Money is actually a technology. It is a social technology. It's one of those fundamental technologies that infuses society in a way that you don't even notice, like double entry bookkeeping or the printing press. We take it for granted. And now, the thing about this social technology that we all take for granted is that, um, sorry about that. Um, so, the big thing that I'm here to talk about is a big breakthrough in money. A big breakthrough in how money is gonna operate and how this technology is gonna change. And this breakthrough is called blockchain. Now blockchain sits in the middle of two incredibly powerful forces. On the one hand, you have economics, you have traders, you have finance, you have markets, you have speculation. On the other hand, you have cryptography, you have computer science, you have hackers and coders. And in the middle, there's this new thing called blockchain. So what does blockchain really allow us to do? Blockchain allows us to move value from point A to point B in a manner that is faster, safer, and more secure than any alternatives out there right now. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Let me put on my tinfoil hat for a second. Modern markets and modern money are actually broken. When you look at the history of the last 30, 40 years, you'll see that it's peppered with financial crises. There's the 2008 Lehman crisis. There's the Greek and Euro banking crisis that's been going on and festering over the last few years. There's the dot-com bubble, the Asian financial crisis. There's constant crisis coming and they wipe out millions of people's savings every time. And they happen like clockwork every eight to 10 years. The other terrifying thing about modern money is that when you look at the way that um, money actually operates on a day-to-day -day basis, you realize that there's 2.5 mil, bil, sorry, 2.5 billion people that are completely cut out of the financial system. Sorry. So these 2.5 billion people that are completely cut out of the financial system, these people are not able to get a checking account, they have no credit card, they're not able to send and receive digital value in any way, shape, or form. And this is why blockchain technology is important. There's two main reasons. One, blockchain technology can be used to bring these 2.5 billion people into the economic order of the world. Let them send and receive value and let them contribute to the world's digital economy. The second is blockchain technology can be used to dramatically improve the infrastructure of the financial system. Today, the banks operate on 50, 60 year old technology and the code it runs on isn't even taught in school anymore. So for these two reasons, it's really important to understand blockchain technology. It's really important to understand how this is working and how it's transforming the world and transforming finance. Thank you very much. Does anyone have any questions?
So blockchain is going to be changing money uh, for people. What yep. do you believe the interface will be that people will see money with and interact with once they use a blockchain technology? Is it going to be an existing cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, or do you think there could be something completely different? That's a great question. I think the platform by which people interact with blockchain technology is a smartphone. So everyone's got a smartphone in their pocket, and that smartphone can be used to send and receive virtual data and can be a point of sale anywhere in the world as long as you have Wi-Fi or an internet connection. Now, whether it's going to be Bitcoin, Ethereum, or some other cryptocurrency, or maybe even some corporate uh, blockchain that are being developed by IBM and people such as that, who knows? I mean, the, the future is difficult to predict. Um, how does uh, blockchain enable these 2.5 billion people to access the financial market in ways that they can't already do? The main way that that happens, and again, this is sort of the dream of blockchain technology. It's not really completely come into fruition just yet. But the main way that happens is a low-tech, low-cost way of sending value from point A to point B. And again, it just comes back to the fact that more and more smartphones are being distributed throughout the world. More people are getting online through smartphone technology. And if you have a smartphone, that's like a digital wallet and a point of sale in your pocket. And that's the biggest thing that, that will move that forward. Uh, hi. So uh, what are the main problems you see that uh, if, you, uh, if we move to blockchain in future? So the main problem that we see when you move to a blockchain future is controlling private keys. So what, what proves that you have ownership over a piece of value on a blockchain is your ownership over a private key, a long string of numbers and letters. Managing that, having best practices, having people understand what the consequences are of losing private keys are, is the biggest challenge for, for adopting blockchain technology. Thanks. Hey, Matt. <laughs> hey, Tian. How's it going? <laughs> Good. Um, okay, so everyone says that blockchain is like the internet of the um, when when sorry, everyone says blockchain today is like the internet during the 1990s. Um, so when do you think blockchain will become like will become will pick up and become like the, the killer next app? Thing? Yeah. <laughs> so I think there's a couple things that that could happen to bring blockchain into fruition. One would be a, a big killer app, something that would allow people to move value and sort of open the floodgates for for, for blockchain technology. The other is if we have a really good and proper financial crisis. If you see that we have a big financial crisis and here there are blockchains that kind of don't care about the banking systems and operate regardless of how banks are doing, I think that's when people really start seeing the real value of blockchain in the world. 